Why do women have So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. God. What good YouTuber back in the video. Hope you guys have had a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we were reacting to the good old Family Guy's dark humor. Um, you guys seem to enjoy the last video, so um, why not bring it back? Uh, Christmas Eve, hope you guys are going to have a great Christmas Eve. Enjoy time with family and friends. Uh, open a bunch of gifts. Also, comment below if you guys got any uh, New Year's resolutions. Mine, I'll let you know later. But we got some goals to be made, um, especially for YouTube and also personal goals. So uh, I'm interested to hear from you guys. But um, yeah, we're going to hop right into this bad boy. See what we got going on. Starting with Brian the laptop. Oh, no. Your dishwasher cartoon has really outraged the online community. What? Gosh, it's not like the internet to go crazy about something small and stupid. Peter, you have to apologize. What, because of a joke? Not just a joke, Peter. A joke that angered some bloggers. Eh, well, I guess this ain't the first time I got in trouble for something I said about a woman. Oh, no. Oh, good. We can steal. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. Here, wait, here's another one. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of them don't. Are you telling jokes? Oh, I love jokes. Oh, all right. Then you'll love this one. Okay. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> he really told her that. What? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Uh, you, you, right. uh, you wanted to see me, Mr. Weed? Mr. Weed? Oh, it must have been high school. Peter, your comic in this morning's paper is really offensive. <laughs> That's not funny, Peter. <laughs> All right, just oh, not my dishwasher is broke. Wash dishes for him. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, ah, my gosh. There you go. And now, the history for Pete's presents sake, uh, American Inventor. The true story of Henry Ford. This is my Jew flattening machine. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? No. It's a Jew flattening machine. It's not what it's designed for. But you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. God. <laughs> well, I have to get to work, Chris. I have tons and tons of dogs to incinerate, but I can't wait to see you tomorrow night. What? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I'll clean that up. Oh, uh, that's okay. I'll get it. Have fun at work. Okay. Bye, Chris. What do you think you're doing? What? You, a man, are cleaning up a mess made by <laughs> Anna, a woman, that she, also a woman, spilled on you, a man. Oh, my so, gosh. You're treating her like a human being. If you want to get anywhere with a chick, you can't treat him too nice-like. Really? Trust me, Chris. The next time you see this girl, treat her like crap. And you'll be cooler than a mid-80s novelty answering machine message. I don't know. I did everything Dad said. Ugh, I should have known Peter had something to do with this. You're not the first person whose life he screwed up. Wow. Knock, knock. Nicole, Ronald, who's ready for Boggle? Oh, my God. No. Why? Oh, please are going to show up. My beautiful Nicole. My man, Ronald, who did this? Oh, man, they were so good together. We were just establishing our friendship. They were about to get engaged. Oh, he was going to ask me to be an usher. I mean, he already had enough groomsmen, so he made me an usher. But just to think I could be involved in the ceremony in any way. Um, I have a question. I went on a date with this girl that I really like, and if you don't mind, I was hoping I could ask you a few questions about the birds and the bees. Ah, my boy wants to know about sex. Came to the right place. Chris, what you always want to remember... Of course, Quagmire. Sex is perfectly natural. Well, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Swanson. Um, I wasn't really talking to you. Wow. Chris, I know a lot about sex. Yeah, and I'm sure you have fond memories, but I was kind of hoping to get some advice from someone who isn't broken from the waist down. I'm a father! You're a two-wheeled <laughs> monster! <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my ringtone. Quagmire, call me. <laughs> Chris Camp is only as fun as you make it. That's how it was in World War II. Oh, gosh. 
Don't suppose it would help to say I have a note from my doctor. <laughs> Get in there, you. Women, we have spent decades fighting for our right to vote. So when you go to those booths and oh, cast gosh. your ballot, remember, Warren G. Harding is way the cutest! Bro, what? I thought taking responsibility for his health. So I decided to sign him up for fat camp. What? No, fat camp? I don't want to go to fat camp. I'm sorry, sweetie. It's for your own good. And trust me, you'll feel much better about yourself. Everyone's gonna make fun of me! Oh, come on. Who's gonna make fun of you? Hey, fatty, I hear you're going to fat camp. That's where you belong. <laughs> Peter, stop it. And I better not see you at the big dance. Come on, you. Sorry, Chris. I I'm gonna go with him. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how old it is. Everything he says is a stitch. I have AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> no, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. Mom, can oh my we go gosh. back to the vet and see the pretty vet assistant again? Do you want man Michael oh, Jackson like that? Brian gets sick again. Oh, boy! Hey, Brian, look! <sighs> Brian's sick! Mom, get your keys! Serious. Your friends are terrorists. <laughs> Think about it. They're... They're meeting in secret. They're creating cover stories. Oh my God, you're right. See, I told you my mood was bad news. Those guys are all bad news. Uh, hang on there, Quagmire. Just because these few guys are terrorists doesn't mean all Muslims are. Every ethnic group has their nut jobs. We have the Unabomber, Timothy McVeigh, and even that fat guy at the Atlanta Olympics who didn't do it, but he looked mean, so we said he did. Joe, you don't get to talk about the regular Olympics. You just called me? I, I, I thought that was your name. That is our word. You've got no right using it. Hey, 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 I'm cool. I'm cool. No problem. Could, could you pass me the or, N-word, Jim? Thanks. <laughs> this time we Gosh. really have to do it. Uh, okay, all right. Okay. How is this allowed on TV? One, two. two. Going to you suck. You suck. You suck. Hey guys, what football team should I like? Mahmood says we all need to act like we're fans of American football, so we seem less suspicious. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Mahmood. You know, I actually feel really bad for him. You know he knew 19 guys who died on 9-11? I mean, what are the odds? Peter, I think you joined a terrorist sleeper cell. What? That's crazy! Look, I'm gonna call my mood right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Oh no. Oh my god. Maybe I dialed wrong. Oh my gosh. Yeah, stop trying to call my mood. <laughs> oh, I think that's me. Hello? <laughs> hey, hey, Peter, it's Quagmire. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Guess what? Last night I had sex with a black chick. Uh, uh, I, I, I gotta go. <laughs> Sorry. What? All he said was black chick. Yeah, I know, but your boyfriend looks like one of your typical angry black guys, and I, I didn't want to offend him. Hey, we cool, G? Yeah? 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 All right. All Who right. Is this man? Why would you bring him here? Do not worry. This is Peter. He believes in our cause. How can you be sure? Give him the test. Who is better, Hulk Hogan or the Iron Sheik? Um, the Iron Sheik? Okay, he is one of us. I told you, look at him. He's the perfect man to help us blow up the Kohar Bridge. <laughs> ah, oh my god! Everybody down! So are these toys just like to take? Oh my gosh. Peter, where are you going and why are you dressed like that? Well, I wish I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes watching soccer on an 8-inch black and white TV. Yes, the team I like is kicking it. Oh no, the team I don't like is kicking it. Yes, the team I like is kicking it again. I will celebrate with finger symbols. Hey, is that for real, that, that diarrhea-only sign on your bathroom? <laughs> Post-9-11 <laughs> racism talking. I, for one, think it's great that Peter has enough of an open mind to have a Muslim friend. You know, a lot of dogs just sit outside, tied to poles. Look, Mahmoud's my friend, okay? <laughs> so he's Muslim. Every culture has its quirks. Italian guys talk with their hands a lot. Irish guys drink a lot. Black guys change their shirts while they tell you a story. So, how's Bernadette? She's all right. She's taking interior design classes down at the community college. I mean, she's good at haircutting and everything. They gave her the chair right by the door. But I guess now <laughs> she wants to hang plates Not the, the deodorant. Wall, and you know she gained the weight back from the lap band, right? That Bernadette and her pie. You know it, brother. 
Okay, I'm gonna go eat this steak in the bathroom. Thanks for getting dinner, man. So I see what? you graduated number one in your class from Princeton. That's right. And I'm certified as an accountant and also have a <clears throat> law degree. That's all. Very impressive. We'll keep you in mind. Let's mm. see. Pointy boobs, medium. Oh pointy my boobs, gosh. Not so pointy boobs. That's a shame. That's a Excuse shame. Excuse me. Now that your family is gone, would you mind if we turn on the TV? Oh, hey, I didn't know anyone was here. I uh I was just kidding when I told my family I loved them. He even brought Callista for Oh my gosh. Uh, Peter, I think that's just a piece of paper. Good, because she looked fat. Get in the car. What? Why? You'll see. Why should I trust you? You're always tricking me into going places I don't wanna. Oh, you said we were going to a place Walt Disney built. No, Peter, I said supported. Oh my gosh. By the way, don't go on the train ride. Oh my gosh. Let's just uh, evaluate real quick. My vacuum broke. Oh, I remember you from yesterday. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mr. Griffin, do you really think this is an appropriate cartoon to run on Gloria Steinem's half birthday? You sound angry. Did one of your friends get engaged? You have no idea how offensive you Why are. Why is that true? What? I love women. I bet I can name more porn stars than you. But but don't tell my wife how many porn stars I know. I'll get in a lot of trouble. I oh my. There are people who just started an hour ago and I know them. Oh my gosh. Guys, how was this allowed on television? Um... Family Guy is crazy. Honestly, I don't know what's better, the older ones or the newer ones, because it's kind of like, you know, they're adapting to the humor these days. But back then, bro, they had no filter. Like, The Office, if you guys, have you ever seen The Office? I'm sure you have. A lot of people think it's overrated. I love The Office. I think it's very funny. Um, there's some parts in there that shouldn't be televised, but we've just gotten soft. I don't know what it is. Um, this is not for snowflakes, hence the title. But, um, yeah, man, Family Guy is funny. Um, I didn't really watch any other show. I mean, I watched American Dad. Um, what's the other one? South Park. Um, people have said Parks and Rec is good, too. Um, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So there's a few shows I haven't seen that I might get into. I don't know. We'll see. But um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys have a great Christmas Eve. Spend time with family. Open some gifts. Um, and just enjoy life, man. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe. We're on the road to 7,000 subs and we will catch you guys in the next video. Later.